All right, I have to turn the heat on this morning because it was uh, not really cold, but it was just cold enough to make the clay hard uh, to uh, soften, and uh, I can't work with hard clay. Yesterday, I would have been down here, but I got my uh, used I, uh, iPad delivered to me yesterday, and uh, I spent the day trying to figure out uh, all the apps and everything like that and trying to get things put on here so I could make a use of it and uh, I had gotten a uh, what do they call these uh, a support for the uh, iPad weeks a week before and uh, this works really nice I've got almost the same thing for my iPhone, it's probably one of the best investments you can make is getting these uh, little metal uh, adjustable supports for your iPhone and iPad. But anyway, I got this yesterday and I spent all yesterday afternoon, I made the mistake of trying to start figuring it out and I was working till late last night and finally figured it all out and uh, am using it and uh, using it so I can sh look at my reference and uh, hopefully do the uh, shack on the cowboy the way it is in there. I like the look of that because it's it looks used. It doesn't look brand new. All right, that's what I'm going to be working on with today. And uh, I'm going to set this uh, iPad someplace else out of the way so it won't be in the camera shot all the time. Time to play with some clay. Another thing I did too is uh, I took my uh, clay off of this board here. This was going to be the base, and it was just too big. And it would cost more money to cast because uh, you have you get you get charged by the pound of copper in bronze, and this little base here would have cost probably another twenty or thirty dollars in the uh, casting of the bronze and so I had a cap that went on the top of something I can't remember what it's a round cap and it has a nice little edge on it and I uh, filled it with clay and pressed it down onto this board and put one screw in the middle of it to keep it in place and uh, this works out better as a base because it's, it's not huge it doesn't uh, overshadow the uh, clay itself and it's round which will make it nice for a bay uh, a wooden base to have a nice uh, revolving lazy susan in the bottom of it so i'm going to just put a real thin clay piece of bit of clay on the top of the uh, plastic lid just to uh even it out and uh, so I can add some detail into that and I'm going to leave the sides just the way they are. I painted it to look like clay and uh, I came down about a half hour early today and started working on that and also I'm still missing my one GoPro Hero 8 which dropped on the floor and it I it just like it was swallowed up in a black hole i can't find it and i got to thinking i was getting ready to dump my trash and i got to thinking i wonder if it just fell into the trash so i came down early and started digging through the trash to see if it was in the trash it wasn't so i'm still trying to figure out what happened to that camera i'll have to tear this whole area up so i can find it that's about a 400 hundred dollar camera you don't want to lose something like that all right, I'll be back when I get started on this thing.
right now I'm yakking. All right, I'm gonna start working on the boots. His toe will be sticking out past the edge of the uh, base. I kind of like that uh, type of design. And uh, the sh foot is generally one head length long from the heel to the tip of the toe. And uh, that's how you work out proportions for that. But I've got to uh, make cowboy boots on this guy. So I'm just going to start working on that right now. I'm using my calipers to measure the boot so I match the length of the boot of the other boot so that they both come out exactly the same.
Okay, I'm going to try to reposition him just a little bit. Okay, that's too much. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today. I'll work on the shap tomorrow. And uh, we'll get this thing uh, going. All right. Hope you have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.